Hey, it's Matt from SpeedScale. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a Postman collection and turn it into a set of performance and regression tests, all in less than five minutes. Now, we're going to use SpeedScale, which is a traffic replay engine. Normally, that means taking entire production scenarios and bringing them back to your desktop or the CI system, but we're just going to do everything on our local desktop today just to show you how it works. Now, for this tutorial, I've chosen a demo app called HTTP Bin, which you're probably familiar with. I'm also assuming you have Speed Cuddle, which is our CLI, installed and have some familiarity with Docker. Now, I've chosen HTTP bin because it's nice and simple. I'm going to go ahead and run the public Docker container. You can run the same command and get my demo app started. The next thing I'm going to do is go into my Postman collection. Now, I've pre-made a Postman collection with four requests. There's something you need to do for SpeedScale to make it work, though. Um, you need to go ahead into each one of these requests and hit Send, and once you get a response, save the response as an example. This allows SpeedScale to do its magic because it can know not only the request but what the expected response is for the regression testing. So now I've done, gone and done that with all four of my transactions and I'm going to export my Postman collection so that I can import it to SpeedScale. I'm going to pick v2.1, I'm going to save it on my local desktop, call it httpbin collection, and then I'm going to switch over to SpeedScale. Now SpeedScale treats uh, treats collections of traffic as snapshots. So when I say snapshot, just think of it like a supercharged collection that can also have service mocks. Now I'm going to go into the main UI in SpeedScale, which is what you're shown when you first log in, and I'm going to go and add service. Now I'm going to scroll down past all the heavy duty stuff and go to Postman Collection and hit Start. From there, I'm going to make that new snapshot, give it a unique name. I'm going to leave it as localhost because that's what we're going to be calling, and I'm going to go and collect my uh, take my collection from Postman. Once I do that, I hit import, and SpeedScale does, does a little bit of chewing on the data and goes and says, oh, and draws me a service map of the requests that are going to be, going to be called. Just to make sure everything's correct, I'm going to go into traffic, click view traffic, and then look and see that I have my four collections that I saw, I'm sorry, four, four requests that I saw in Postman uh, saved here for, for use, including all the responses. Now, this is, we're going to go ahead and run from our local desktop a, that same set of traffic and we're going to point it at the demo app that we just started on our local desktop. So I'm going to use the speed cuddle replay command using the same snapshot ID that I just saw, and I'm going to set it for 100 replicas of performance test. Now, 100 replicas means that instead of just sending one user's worth of data, we're going to spend we're going to send 100 users' worth of data. Now, SpeedSeal goes and does that very quickly and uh, produces a report, which we'll look at in a second. Now I'm also going to take the exact same set of traffic and I'm going to do a regression test by setting the test config to standard. The same thing is going to happen. Now I'm going to skip ahead here for speed and show you the performance report that's just completed. And I automatically have a golden signal saying my latency is 216 milliseconds and my throughput is 230. Now this is a trivial example so you'll see more data and more graphs in yours. Uh, but that gives you an idea of where you need to set those thresholds uh, for this kind of deployment. The second thing is I have a regression set, a regression test here using the same data, and I can see that only about half the requests match what we thought they did. And that's because there was a difference in the response body. Now, obviously, uh, it's pretty easy to fix that. We'll talk about ignore, uh, ignoring certain fields in the future, but hopefully this was helpful and helps you get started with SpeedScale. Thank you.